Hello friends, welcome to our channel. Today we are going to see the problem related with soil mechanics in the topic of total stress and effective pressure. So the problem is determine the total neutral and effective stress at the depth of 16 meter below the ground surface. So the water table is 4 meter below the ground surface. Then take gamma d that is dry unit weight is 16.5 kN per meter cube and then gamma saturation 19.4 kN per meter cube. So we have to draw the layers, so this is ground surface, this is 16 meter below the ground surface, so we have to find out the effective stress and the neutral stress at the 16 meter below the ground surface. So then the water table is 4 meter below the ground surface, so here the water table is 4 meter below the ground surface, okay. So this is the water table, so here is 4 meter. So then here is 12 meter. So here the gamma D value is 16.5 kN per meter cube. In here gamma saturation is 19.4 kN per meter cube. Okay. So we can take this one as H1 and this is H2. Then this is gamma 1 and gamma 2. Okay. So now we can uh, find out the total stress and neutral pressure and the effective stress. So now we can take this one is A and this one is B and this one is C. Okay. So now we can take at A A. So in above the layer there is no forces over there. So now sigma F total stress equal to 0 then mu equal to 0 then effective stress sigma minus mu equal to 0. Okay. So there is no forces above the layer A. Okay. So next thing is we can take the layer B at BB. Okay. So B we can take so the above layer so we have stress equal to gamma D into H1. Okay. So now gamma D is 16.5 into H1 L is 4. Okay. So now the value is 66 kilo Newton per meter square. Okay, so then mu value is 0 because there is no water above the B layer. So we can take mu is 0. So then sigma dash equal to sigma minus mu. So that is 66 kilo Newton per meter square. Okay, so next thing is the question. So at CC at the 16 meter depth. Okay, so now we can take sigma equal to gamma D into H1 again plus gamma saturation into H2. Okay, so now we can substitute the value. So gamma D is 16.5 into H1 will is 4 okay, plus so the gamma saturation value is 19.4 into the value is 12. Okay, so now solving this we got the value of uh, 298.8 kN per meter square. Okay. So next thing is mu. So the mu values so the water table is uh, in the 4 meter below the ground surface. So the water table water level is only 12 meter. So now we can take gamma W into H2 value alone. So now 9.81 gamma W value into 12. So now the value will be 117.72 kilo Newton per meter square. Okay, so next thing is sigma dash value. So sigma is uh, dash equal to effective stress uh, equal to total stress minus pore water pressure sigma minus mu. So that is 298.8 minus 117.72. Okay, so now uh, the value is 18 sorry 181.08 kN per meter square. Okay, so these are all the uh, total stress, pore water pressure and effective pressure at the level of 16 meter below the ground surface. Okay. So this is a method we can solve the problem. Again, we will see next video. Thank you.